what's good d fab welcome back to the channel guys it's your girl Daniela. Hey, hey. today i'm sick oh. i've been sick for some days my friend is here we have visitors <coughs> we planned for this since last week and your girl is sick but anyways she's here i don't know how this vlog is going to go but just take it as it is okay so we'll be cooking we'll be eating everything some okay but please if you have not subscribed kindly go ahead and subscribe like and also share so before we, we started cooking and all, my husband and my friend decided they want to do the spicy noodle challenge. So there you go. Enjoy. Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniel. And it's Tina. Okay. Today we, are, we have a very quick one. We want to do noodles challenge and it's very hot uh, spicy challenge we are doing here. So I'm doing this spicy challenge with Tina. Uh, uh, she came and visited us. So, so that's it. We are on it. No water, no milk. You have to be clear. Your face has to be look nice. <laughs> if you do like this, you are you are qualified. So let's go. Very hot one. Two seconds. You have to finish one, it. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she won. Now let's wait and see. No water. <laughs> Me, I'm okay. And it's nice face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm not going to tell you. No. <coughs> okay, take it. <laughs> you take it to your you know. So, subscribe to the channel and also share. Okay. And, you no, know, if you want more of this. We love you guys. Some of you guys have seen her before. Some of you too have not seen her before. So, if you have not seen her, we have, we have known each other for like almost to 10 years yes almost since when i came here so yeah let me introduce her to you guys she'll be doing the cooking today because i'm some of them got a rest okay but then she'll be doing recipes that i also don't know so you'll be making i'll let her come and then she'll also explain you'll be making shito and then other recipe that she also want to teach me and you guys as well okay so we all learn together all right so i'll bring you guys along if you have not shared this video kindly go ahead and share like i don't know how my camera <laughs> settings is but anyway you guys as i said how the vlog is going to come just accept it we're just going to cook as much as we can i'll talk to you all later we did a vlog during the summer time i'll keep the link in the description box if i remember mm -hmm. go check it out this is her and it's tina hi <laughs> i've come and again yeah today we are going to it's come going, again it's coming come again. again yes it's come yeah. again this one is our english <laughs> it's not understand the garrett's so, Today we are going to make some delicious uh -huh. deals. Hey, hey, and two madam. So we'll be making shito and what? We're going to make shito mm -hmm. and. So we'll be doing also chicken wings with chicken thighs and kind of like chicken with vegetables, right? No. You use ve no vegetables. No vegetables. Like I we're using know. salsa. Okay, you guys, we'll show you guys. Okay, because mm -hmm. it's a recipe that I don't know. You don't know. So I'm I'm going to make it, but I I don't know how to explain so it. It does not have a name. So you guys know that media. I ha I have names. So after that, if I finish seeing it and it tastes good, I'll give you guys the name. 
I'll give it a name, okay? And it's going Yellow's recipe. Danny and Annie's recipe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, um, we are going to share with you, we are going to show you the ingredients and whilst you're cooking too, we are going to share with you guys, okay? I'm vlogging this here so that some of you guys also learn just like me, okay? So I'll talk to you all later. Let's go ahead and let me show you the ingredients. So these ingredients that she's about to share is for the rice. For the rice, okay. So this is coconut uh, milk. milk. You yeah. can get this from the African market. I went to the Italian market, I didn't get. So if you go to the African market, you get this one. How, how many are we using? Both two of we them. We are going to use one. two. Two of them. But okay. if you want to use one, you can use one. Depending on the quantity of the yeah, rice. The rice that you are going to use. Okay. Carrot, yeah. Carrot, pepper. Um, bell peppers. And onion. Onion red. And then this one and then the other onion as well. And we had the broth from the... The, um, the, the meat. The meat. This um, one. We make it this one. Okay. okay. So I have the coconut um, oil as well. And then this part is for the shito. For the shito. This one is the fish, the dry fish, the, the blended one. We call it. A, That's what I brought from Ghana. We in call tree, in tree, mm. They say in sesawa. Okay. In sesawa. The tree And this one. is a um, shrimps. A mm. monko dry one. <laughs> And this one is the natural spices. Spices. And okay. that one is also um pepper. Uh, garlic um powder. This is it right here. We have the tomato um concentrated tomato. Okay. We are going to use so we'll two, be, we are going to add another one. We are going to add uh, more to it if more needed. To it. We have um ginger. We have also the curry powder here. And uh, we have this one. <laughs> our rice. So we have rice here and mm, it's very hot. Very very hot when you use for um uh, the chicken. Mm -hmm. So this one is we are going uh, to use for the chicken. Tabasco. Tabasco for the so chicken. This one you can get it in the normal shop. Okay. And this is for our uh, we blend all of them. Blended onion. Onions for our uh, shito. And thyme for the shito that we'll be doing. And then we also have garlic and ginger also blended as well. We blended this, I blended this one with oil. Okay, no water. No water. And the ginger as well, no water. So. Well, as you are cooking, we'll be showing you the ingredients as well if there's any needed. So this is the pot that we used for the 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 meat, rice, the meat. Yeah. So we are going to use the same thing. We just took the broth out and the meat too. So she added about three tablespoons of the coconut oil um to the pan and then leave it to you know melt and then went in to add in the sliced onion as well. So you keep stirring till it's a little bit brownish as you can see and we added just a little bit of extra spicy um, pepper, the powdered one because kids will be eating so we didn't add too much pepper and then we also added in our two cans of the coconut milk as you can see and then stir it, cover it um for it to boil for 15 minutes whilst it is boiling you can be stirring it to avoid it being burnt. So she also added in the broth from the meat that we cooked this is optional if you want okay you can even add um chicken broth okay it is optional it depends on your taste how you want it but this is making of the base for the rice itself and then we covered it again and we also add our kukuma to it this is also optional if you want you can add if you want you cannot add to it so we also added just a little bit of this to it After some few minutes, she added in the rice, um, washed rice. Let me know in the comment section, do you wash your rice or you just put in the rice without washing it? Let me know in the comment section, I want to know. But I always prefer to wash my rice at least two times, okay, before I add it to my rice. And that is exactly what we did. And 
and from the background you can see that i was burning um the hair from the chicken i don't like my chicken when it has hair on it like if i see it i feel some type of way <laughs> so anytime i'm doing anything with chicken once i see that there's too much hair that i i cannot pull you know you can pull with the knife or if i'm in a rush or in, uh, i want it quicker i just burn the hairs and then wash it very very well to get rid of the hair and then go ahead with the cooking so that was what i was doing here. So she also added a little bit of salt to taste so as you are making it you just taste it um if the salt is okay for you if you want to add more or less but this salt was okay for the the rice that she was making So after five minutes or more, depending on how um, low or high your fire is, you just come back and stir it. This At this point, you just cook it like you're cooking normal rice, okay? So we are done with the basin. We just add in our rice and we cooked it like we are cooking normal rice. So you just be coming and stirring it just so that it does not get burnt. So to save us time, whilst the rice was cooking, we were also working and cleaning on the chicken wings and the chicken thighs. So we also added in the spices that I showed you guys earlier. So this is um, ginger, the powdered ginger. So we also added curry powder as well so when it comes to the seasoning it depends on your taste if you want too much spices you can add to it if you don't want too much to you can do as we want we did or you can also do less it depends on you okay this is also um powdered um garlic yes <laughs> i'm trying to translate it and also if my voice is low it's because your girl half code but then you know i had to create content for you guys and this is also black pepper yes i'm repeating it because it's written it in italian and that is also kukuma so um yeah you just add in the spices that you have we also added in the chicken spices as well um a little bit of um extra spicy um powdered pepper um because kids will be eating as well so it it depends on you if you are adult if it's left with adults we can make it as much as we want when it comes to the pepper and then um we also added added a little bit of salt to it for taste So after that, you just mix it all together. If you want it to be very, very easy, you can pack all these in a Ziploc bag and add in your spices and shake it around <laughs> like nothing. Or you can also wear gloves and mix everything. But also using this tool, you can, as you can see, it's mixed everything perfectly well. And as you can see, our rice is almost ready. Few minutes before it was done, we added in our vegetables, all of them. Okay, you can add more, you can also add less, but you just add in your vegetables and then stir it as well. So after we added the vegetables and stirred it, we covered it with the aluminium foil and allowed it to finish the cooking process. Um, we've lowered the, the fire, okay, to avoid it to be burned, you know, we don't want our food to be burned. And voila, this is the cooked food, the cooked rice. At this point, it was cooked, the fire was off. As you guys can see, like, it is not mushy or anything like that. It is perfect, like, I'll cook my normal rice, okay, she knows what I want, <laughs> And the aroma of this rice like my nose was not was blocked like i couldn't really really smell but i could smell if like the scent from the coconut from the vegetables oh my god it was everything you guys should try this recipe okay and now we are starting our shito um i used um used um oil for my fire okay that's that is what she wanted so that's what i used and i would recommend you use that one too because it gave it a 
different tastes. This was oil from frying fishes. Okay, as I fried fish, chicken, this is the oil that we used to make the shito. Also, we left the chicken to marinate for 30 minutes, okay? And this is our flour. We used half of the flour for the mixing for the chicken, okay? So we didn't cook the chicken. We fried it. And this is the process of how we did it. So she used half of the flour and then added black pepper, cucumber, um, curry powder, a little bit of salt, and mixed everything together. mixing this i also put on my fryer you can fry this in your frying pan or if you have a fryer too you can fry it as well but we did a uh, deep frying okay i don't have air fryer this is what i have so you can use whatever that you have but then we just put in our chicken inside the the flour with the spices that we did earlier on was and then fried it so because our chicken was bigger the chicken thighs we fried it for a longer time just so that it would be well cooked because we did not cook the chicken okay so if you're frying it make sure that it is well well fried just so that it will be cooked and it's not going to be raw in it so if i'm doing mm um, um, sorry for that because i also have to translate the words from italian to english before i say it okay but anyways i hope you guys are enjoying this video <laughs> So as we were frying the chicken, remember the oil that we put on the stove was still on because we wanted it to be very, very hot. And then this is the first batch from the chicken that we fried. And we also added in our tomatoes, um, the concentrated one or as Ghana is eating tomatoes or, okay, or tomato paste. Yes, <laughs> whichever one that you are used to the name. Yes, we added to it. I think we added um, additional two or one to the three, the two that we showed you guys. So the bigger one and two smaller ones, yes, if I'm not wrong, we added to it and then it's all stirring it to avoid it being burnt, you know. As we were entertaining ourselves, we were still cooking, okay? <laughs> and if you know shito, if you are making shito, you have to be very careful because it can easily get burnt. So we added in our blended um, onions with rosemary and thyme and oil. Like I said in the beginning, I blended this and also added in the ginger and garlic. I blended it separately, but you can blend all of them together um, without water, okay? I used oil to blend it all and then you mix it up, not faster like you are seeing because I have speeded it up just so that the video is not long, but just slowly mix everything together so you see that it's well mixed and then you cover it up and in between like every two, three minutes, they Depending on high, how high or lower your fire is, you just be stirring it to avoid it um, being burnt as always. And also, you know that shito comes with splashing a lot. You will see our wall and stuff. <laughs> so, yes, you cover it as much as you can, okay? Try to cover it just so that it does not splash everywhere. But, I mean... Even if you cover it, how many times it will splash, okay? If you are, um, you know, stirring it. Thank you. 
so we went ahead to add in our pepper you can add as much as you want depending on how spicy you want your shito to be and if you are stirring and your shito is splashing or even if you're making stew and it is splashing this is the method that i use i just do what i'm doing to avoid it being splashing okay just so that it does not splash anywhere but as i said shito is shito if you are making stew it's if it has to splash it will splash but it's the method that i use whenever that i am stirring so we also added in the natural spices um, that I showed you guys in the beginning and also stir as well. You have to keep stirring to avoid it being burnt. Okay, when it comes to shito, it has to be cooked very, very well. And once it's like almost done, that's where you start adding in the ingredients. And also, as you can see, it has changed color. Um, there's more oil. And once we after that, you're going to add in the fish, the shrimps, and then we also added in additional oil because it took all of them so as you've seen this is the fish that we are adding um it's a sour if i'm not wrong that's how my friend said it <laughs> in tree and then we also added the shrimp so these ones took all the oil like it drank the oil <laughs> so yes you add in additional oil because she don't eat oil so as you can see we are making it in a big pot because oil is expensive okay you can't be making shit or small small so we have to you know do it a lot just so that you know that you've done it once and it's going to last a little bit longer so also the quantities depend on you how you want your shit okay but this is how she made hers and it was okay like the food she cooked in my house was tasting mwah. it was delicious it was mouth watering <laughs> okay so the pot behind is the sauce that we made for the chicken okay this chicken is five star chicken it's not the normal chicken that you you know <laughs> this is five star chicken so in the pot we had butter okay we took butter and then she melted it and also you can add whether um ketchup or um barbecue sauce okay it depending it depends on what you have we used barbecue sauce but you can also use ketchup if you want okay it, it depends on you also added pepperoncino um as you can see you can find them in the shop um or also the peppers you add them according to what you want okay if you want it too much spicy you can if you want it light you can my friend and her husband like spicy food my husband and i don't like spicy food so we have to do addition subtraction minus uh division <laughs> and it came out how we we all wanted it so we added in the tabasco we also added in soya sauce okay mix everything continue mixing it she kept on mixing it because she didn't want it to burn at all and then she poured it on the the chicken so what we did was we separated the chicken into two because we, i personally didn't know how the outcome is going to be as in how spicy it's going to be and we also have kids so we divided them into two so this sauce is optional you can do it this way and you can also do it without the sauce it all came out perfectly well but i will go for i will give this this one 100 and i'll give the without the sauce 99 so if the sauce make it one and it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> uh, once everything was done cooking i went ahead to save the family i couldn't enjoy them eating because my code was not allowing me and as if you can hear from my talking i still have the code <laughs> this weather this winter is not wintery though it's not wintery with me like i'm talking to the weather and the weather is not wintery with me like why <laughs> <laughs> anyway the food came out so perfectly well we ate it we ate they ate it with the shit all. we had so much fun thank you guys so much for coming to our house we really appreciate you guys and see you later thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye